Hey everybody, it's the first of the month and it's hotter than the devil's dick outside today in NYC. This week is going to be 90 degrees, so people stay cool, stay hydrated. I got my AC and my fan blowing on me right now while I do this review. Um, last night was Black Ink Crew episode. They do these crazy episodes where I guess it's still season three. But a continuation, so I guess it's like episode 14 now, or whatever. Caesar, basically, um, Donna, the princess, is not doing what she's supposed to do. The other princess, Tyler, is doing more than her. So he puts on like a probation type thing and gave her a, warn a warning that she needs to get her shit together with, or whatever. Mm. So Duchess decides to set up this double date between C her and Caesar and Sky and um, Teddy. Everything's going good. They want to see the Statue of Liberty. She's over there saluting and all this other stuff because she's just oh, saluting because she's happy that she enjoys her freedom because she's been in Tent City for two months or whatever. So Caesar, um, Teddy and Caesar decide to go downstairs and Teddy tells Caesar that Miss Stripper India is in town. He's like, oh, she back in town? And he fucked them. He fucked them. No surprise, because that's what Teddy do. But the crazy thing about it is, you don't want to fuck with Sky, because I'm sure Sky's being all the way real with him and all the way faithful to me. Because, you know, she loves him. And she knows Teddy loves her, too. And they having such seem like having such a good time in... Sky's clueless to the fact or whatever. Or whatever. So, we cut to Donna. Donna's in a relationship with this new guy named Maxwell. Another young guy. She met him at the shop. He got some soup coolers just like Caesar and a missing tooth in the front. But he's alright. He's a cute guy. Or whatever. They got an apartment together. And she said she tattooed his name on her neck. Maxwell up here somewhere. So, he's pretty much cool working at the shop. Not pretty much cool, but he's dealing with the fact that he's working at the shop and her with being with, um, oh shit, or whatever the case may be. Or, I don't even understand how that's working. It's only been a few months and they already love each other. So, um, Jay Holiday comes in. We haven't seen him in a minute. Like, where you at, Jay Holiday? Um, he come get a tattoo by Duchess or whatever. And he's looking a little, maybe he was there doing a show or whatever. I don't know what's going on with Jay Holiday. But he came there, got a tattoo or whatever the case may be. And she's talking to him about the whole thing. Um, basically, that she's staying in New York because of C's. And I'm like, this is not going to work. Something's going to happen or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, Don, they cut back to Don and C's are going back and forth. She thinks she knows everything. And he says, always an argument with you or whatever. And basically... He was like, I can't deal with you no more. You fired. She's trying to do some freehand shit, and she's not ready for that yet. Or whatever. Especially at that tattoo she did she did to fucking um, Tyler. That was terrible. Or whatever. Um, she calls Max on her flip phone. <laughs> and I guess let him know what's going on because he called her a bitch. Or whatever. Mm, maybe he overstepped the boundaries or whatever. But maybe he was upset. So he called a bitch. Duchess saw that Donna was on the phone, know she was calling Maxwell, so she decides to call Maxwell. She knows him, and he's a young little gang member, a thug, or whatever the case may be, she said. And, um, so she tells, so she tells him, if you really want to know what's going on, you know, Walt hit it first, then Teddy hit it, only reason why Teddy hit it, we can have one up on Walt, and then, oh shit, was fucking staying in a place. He's going in. Mr. Maxwell is not having it. He's going in. Like, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm doing this. I'm paying rent in this apartment, blah, blah, blah. To Duchess, right? Duchess did, um, Duchess give the phone to C's. He want, um, C's wants to talk to him. They talking on the phone. She walks back into the shop and she hear him on speaker Maxwell talk about, like, I do everything for this bitch. I pay rent. I do this. I buy food. Or she don't cook. Whatever. <laughs> and now she want to come back and try to apologize or whatever the case may be. And... Caesar's not trying to hear it. She apologized. He's like, all right, bye, Donna. Bye. But she's like, you can't be man enough to talk to me. Now she copping mad plea because if she leaves, if she leaves Black Ink, she ain't got, what she going to do? She going right back to Ohio with her tatted up self. So that's what happens with that whole situation. So Puma and Sassy hangs out or whatever, talking about what's going on, talking about Ink 124. And basically, people, some artists quit. 
it's going downhill. It's like a downward spiral, he said, or whatever. Who knows what's going on? You're not taking care of business or whatever, I guess. I don't know. So Caesar takes everyone. It's like a, he's an employee, employer, appreciation day. He takes everyone to the water park. Even Sassy comes with Dee Dee, her girlfriend, or whatever. They have a, look like they have a real awesome time or whatever. And then some point in the park, in the park, Seas told Duchess about Teddy in India, stripper India, right? Duchess like, I'm telling her. But my thing about it is, why would you tell at the water park everyone having a good time? Why would you even, like, what kind of shit is that? So she tells, so she tells, um, Duchess tells, um, Sky that Teddy fucked India. And she's pissed the fuck off. And first of all, she can't stand that bitch. Second of all, I have to give so much respect to Sky because I feel the same way. If you're dealing with someone that's bisexual, threesomes are half the battle. She like women too. She like pussy too. Like she said, she said to Duchess, listen, you can be fucking, I could be fucking you. Let if you fuck a, if you want to fuck another bitch, let's fuck them together. And I don't understand why men don't get it. They don't get it. I don't know if it's their ego and getting away or what it is. She's being real about it. I like pussy too. I, let's fuck them together. What's wrong with that? Don't cheat on me. Let's let's cheat. If you want to cheat, let's cheat together or something. And I understand that because that's the type of chick I'm in. I don't understand. I don't understand it. Especially that's always heterosexual men or men period or people period who like group sex. If you... If you're real with yourself and know what type of things that you like, why can't you share that with somebody who's the same as you, who's real about themselves? And Sky's all the way real and she's all the way honest, so why wouldn't you? Yeah, that that bugs me out. But it ain't no surprise because I got it got a little personal. I'm sorry, but cuz I've experienced that before and you just don't understand let's why you got the best of both worlds. Why not take advantage of it? Cuz when do you ever get that opportunity? In all actuality because <laughs> when do you all get the opportunity to have two women at one time and both of them are okay with it that's <laughs> that's tough so she said so towards the end they're leaving and after you know it seemed like it was a little bit malicious what Duchess did to Sky because she told Sky don't say nothing until we get back to New York or whatever and try to have a good time but how can you have a good time after some shit like that so she's mad. Everyone's having a good time. So they about to walk back to the school bus because that's what they went on. And um, they went back to the school bus. So they talk. So she decides to tell him, Scott, what's this shit you fucking into? And he's like, what? And what? And he's playing stupid. And that pissed her off. It pissed me off because he acts like they're not together. He's like, yeah, I fucked up. What's up? What's good? Don't do that. I would have punched him dead in his face. I know she said she wants to punch him in the nose. I don't know if she really did that. She was just throwing water on him. But I would have punched him dead in the kisser. Like, for real. So, um... Yeah, that was just... That was just messed up. It just pissed me off. Maybe they shouldn't be together. She said she feels like a fool dealing because, you know, the relationship with Teddy and women is is tough. So, I don't know. So be it. Um, Puma go sees Ned, and he is like the godfather of tattoos in New York City. So, so yeah, he goes to see Ned, or whatever the case may be, and um, they get into an argument, or whatever. And basically, Ned is telling him about what's going on with the whole. Thank you. Ned is telling him about the whole fight after the fashion show and messed up business for Inc. 124. It's going downhill. And basically, he's going to close up the shop. That's it. He's going to close up Inc. 124. It's a waste of money or whatever. And that's it. That's basically it. So, along with not having a job, his family about to be gone. Who ain't got nothing going for him? And basically, it's all because of his own ignorance. And that's it. Not really much to say about that, but that's all that happened. This episode was a pretty good episode. What you call is going to be um, a better episode because Sky wants to confront Duchess and she want to fight her. But Duchess ain't trying. She easing up against the printer. She's scared, look like. 
um, Kwani decides she's going to leave. And that's basically it so far. What else is going on? I don't know what's going to happen with Teddy and Sky. But she should fuck his fat ass, swole ass up. But that's just me. So I hope you like. <laughs> don't laugh at me. <laughs> I have an audience and he's messing with me. Anywho. <laughs> I hope you like this review. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I'll talk to y'all later.